Welcome to Mora FC. It is what it is. Look how this beautiful shoulder back or hostel back. You know, I made this one for this client and he's really enjoying it. And he has even ordered for some. You know, it is what it is. So I'm going to break it down in the simplest and the easiest form and how to draft it and how to sew it. There's a tips. There's some secrets. There's some tips and secrets and tricks that you need in drafting this so you can draft it anyhow that you want you know you need to follow the procedure how to draft it in the professional way and how to sew it so i'm going to give you all the tips the tips the secret the tricks that you need in drafting this shoulder bag so without wasting much time so let's get started You need your chest measurement. Your chest measurement. We're going to divide your chest by four because we're going to deal with the quarter of your bust. We need quarter of your chest. So we divide. I'm using 38. 38 divided by four, and that will give me nine and a half inches. And we're going to measure the length, the desirable length that you want. So it can be half of your length. It can be half of your length, 16 or 17. You know. So half of these are the two measurements that we need. So I'm going to mark these five inches away from the top. So I'm going to draw my starter line. So this line is my starter line. You can see the way I folded it. The opening side is supposed to face you. You can see the opening side is supposed to face you. So like I said, we need the quarter of your bust. So you're going to divide your bust or your chest by four. I'm um, working on 28. So that will give me nine and a half. You can see I'm using my tape measure to divide it. So that will give me nine and a half. And I'm going to add one inch to it for sewing allowance. So ten and a half. So we're going to start from this line. And we're going to mark ten and a half. Obviously the way I'm starting. That is where you're supposed to start. Ten and a half. I'm marking ten and a half. So this line will also start stand for our starter line as well. You know, this is my MP3. I used to play some music a little bit while I was working to jingle it around. <laughs> it's what I have seen. It is what it is. So I'm drawing a line here. So this line was also will start for will stand for our center scene. You know, we're gonna use that as for our center scene. You know, our center for. You know, this bar you can draft it bigger than the cut of your bust. So I'm marking four inches over here. Like I said, the line is our starting line, so I'm marking four inch over here. I go for my shoulder slope, one and a half. So this is my shoulder slope. So the band, the shoulder side, you know, the band, as you can see in the diagram, the band there. It's up to how big, how small you want it to be. So you can measure like four inches. So half inch, half inch for so you allow one. So that will remain three inches. So if you want your band to be three inches, exactly, you need to measure four inches from there. And if you want it to be two and a half, then you have to measure like uh, three and a half over there. You know, so you're going to depend how big, how wide you want yours to be. You divide your shoulder, your shoulder into two. You're going to divide your shoulder into two. Um, you're working with 18, so 18 divided by two, that will give me nine. There's no need to add in sewing allowance to it. You just have to leave it at that. So my shoulder divided by two. Then I'm going to draw a straight line over here. That's the armhole to get my armhole. You can make it big. Like you can measure 10, and, uh, 10 inches or 9.5 inches. 
it's going to depend how you want your armhole to be you know it kind of if you want to leave space at your armhole side you need to go like 10 or 10 and a half or 11 inches if you want that armhole side to be big so this will be my half length you measure then you add your sewing allowance to it so i'm drafting this pattern with sewing allowance all together you know i'm drafting everything with sewing allowance so there's no need of when i'm you know transferring everything onto the fabric then i need to add half inch half inch no I've, i'm already adding half inch on my drafting so that there's no need of uh, adding any half inch when i'm cutting it on and when i'm cutting it on the fabric i hope you understand so i'm adding everything here my sewing allowance everything on this pattern so we're gonna draw a curve here but before that we need to divide here by two this will be the easier way for you you know you divide there by two and it'll be very simple for you to know where your point is going to be so that you draft Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. You know, ask questions if you want to ask questions. If you want to compliment, compliment. This is the best way how to draft this pattern. You know, there's no need of going somewhere. This part, you can leave it straight if you want, or you can curve it. This part is option. You can leave it straight like that, or you can just curve and give it a shape to that point. So it's not necessary that you have to curve that part. You can see some papers yes there's no curve at the bottom just this v curve here and for here you should curve it you know to give it a smooth curve so this is the band i don't want mine to be three inches so i like i'm going for two and a half so i'm just reducing it so I'm marking three and a half over there. Like I said, the band, that part, is up to you how big, how small you want you to be. So we're gonna join this part together. If you have a French curve, you can use a French curve. I'm used of, I'm used of, you know, sketching things by my hand, you know. If you have a French curve, just use your French curve to do it. So you have to open it don't cut everything just open it i'm cutting half of one on top you can see the way i'm cutting it just look the way i'm cutting it don't cut everything all together you can see i'm just cutting one part I've already added my sewing allowance, so there's no need of adding sewing allowance to it. I've already added it to it, so that's why I'm cutting it straight. So I'm marking four and a half over there. This four and a half. Just have to draw a straight line over there. Then I'll measure four and a half inches. You can see four and a half inches four and a half inches then I'll draw my straight line just like that 
Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. We're gonna catch. Look something here is very very important. Look something here. I'm gonna measure one inch from there. I'm gonna mark one inch here. One inch. There. Draw a straight line. Then you fold it. So obviously the way I'm doing, I'm just connecting. You know, we folded one in, so I just have to check the part so that I reconnect. Have you seen this part? Uh -huh. So that's the place that we are connecting it. See, you make a dot, then you sketch. After a sketch, then you, you check and see. So now you can cut everything all together. You can cut everything all together. Give me a thumbs up, Charlie. You know, if you are feeling it, give me a thumbs up. Comment. If you have a problem, you can ask a question. And you have, if you are doing a star that you are facing a difficulty, you can follow me on Facebook. It's Mora FC. Mora FC. My page is linked to my WhatsApp. You can say hi to me. If you want to say hi to me, you want to chat with me, you want to see how I'm doing, yeah, you are welcome. Everybody is welcome, you know. Everybody is welcome at Mora FC. I have a group. I have a group called Mora FC Family. And if you want to join, I'll just add up. Just link me up. Then I'll add you up to my Mora FC's family. You know, it's just a great family, you know, giving free assistance to my subscribers, supporting them in any styles. If they have a problem, if I have a difficulty in drafting or drawing something, I just help them, you know. So here you can decide to come in half inch if you want. You can leave it like that, you know, because we have already curved in a little bit more. So you can decide to leave it this way or you can decide to just blend in a little bit. The front, not all of it. Just look the place that I'm cutting. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Just give me a thumbs up. Like, share, tell a friend to tell a friend about Mora FC. So you can see, you just have to trim that part off. There's other part that you have to pay attention here. You can leave it straight if you want. You can leave it straight. If you don't want it straight, you can just blend it with a little bit of curve you know you can leave it straight or you can just blend in and make a curve over there so you have to fold it into two obviously the way i folded it then you just have to curve it just like that we are not done yet we are not done yet you know so you can see how beautiful that part will be curve you know We still have our one inch here. It's very important. This part is one inch. It's very, very important. We leave it this way. We turn back. Like I said, we are not done yet. I'm giving you all the details that you need, not even this shoulder bag. So 
Let me flip it here into the will be the front. And this part will be the back of it. You know, so we have done with the front. Let's deal with the back. So when it comes to the back, just have to curve it from here. Just curve it anyhow that you want, you know. Just curve it and see how smooth. I'm good with curving with my hands. So if I have a rule, a curve measure, just use that. You know, so we're gonna chop that part off. We're gonna cut that part off. Exactly, beautiful. I feel seeing it's more IFC. It is what it is. Charlie, give me a thumbs up, you know. My brother, my sisters, my family, give me a thumbs up. So this is the center. Pay note to the center. Pay note to the center. So I'm making a notch here. You make a notch over there. That will be the center of it. You know. If you still can see it, you just have to draw a line over there. It's very important. This line is very, very important. When sewing it, you're gonna know all these tips and tricks, the reason why I'm making these lines. Uh, there's a way of sewing it as well. If you don't know how to sew it, you're gonna sew it wrongly. I'm telling you, there's a way of sewing it. Uh, there's a tips and trick on the way of sewing it as well. So you can see how beautiful it is, you know. This is the shoulder bag, this is how to draft it. Very, very simple and easy. So when I fold it this way, you can see it. Then I put it back like this, you can see this how the hostel, the hostel, the small IFC series, what it is. So you can see this is the back, this is how the bag is going to be. We are not done yet, we are not done yet. It is what it is. So you have to draft your pocket here or your zip. This place you have to fix uh, a zipper over there. I'm trying to know the opening of my zipper if I want to do it eight inches or seven and a half inches. So I'm just checking and see the opening of my zipper. This seven, I think I'm doing it seven inches long. So this is seven inches, as you can see. You can make it seven and a half. Or eight inches. So that part is the zip and after that your pocket will be here it can be a flat pocket you know it can be a cargo pocket you know but here you should normally prefer a cargo pocket so that should be nice you know and there are some pocket pockets somewhere you know when sewing it that will come later when sewing it so this will be the part one drafting it and the, the part two will be how to sew it you know there's a way of sewing it there's some trick tips that you need to know when sewing it and more ifc it is what it is give me a thumbs up subscribe like and share and comment Tell a friend to tell a friend about Mora FC. It is what it is. So this will be your cargo pocket. That's the place that your cargo pocket is supposed to be. We 
done. So this is the part one of it and the part two will be how to sew it. Very, very simple and easy. Uh, like I said, I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks that you need in like sewing it. You can see this how my one inch when I put it back like that. You can see this is how it will be. Easy as ABCD. Thank you for watching. God bless you.